Hi everyone, it's Luis again. Today I'm making a video on bacterial infections on your orchids. I have here two plants. This one on the right is a Pragmapidium, and this one on the left is a Paphiopetalum. Now both of them have a bacterial infection. And I confirmed it with the American Orchid Society. I send in my information and um, I am relaying the information that I got from them. So I, as you can see, I'm going to point out what this infection looks like and then I'm going to talk about what is recommended to treat it. Now on this Paphiopetalum, if you look at it from the top, it really doesn't look that bad unless you pay really close attention and then you start looking and all these brown little pits and uh, spots. But it's more apparent if you look under the leaves. If you look under the leaves, you see that. That is a classic example of a bacterial infection on your plant. Uh, see, it's uh, pretty bad. And to treat it locally, it's recommended that you use hydrogen peroxide. But the advice I was given is that once you change it into a fresher media, uh, the plants seem to grow out of it. B these two plants have not been treated and as you can see this new growth does not have any of the spotting. Well, maybe this one, a little bit, but it's clearly growing out of it. Now once you treat it with the, rec the recommended um, bactericide to use is called um, Phyton 27. And that one is copper base. So that one kills the bacteria. The only thing is that even if you do treat your plant, these lesions will not go away. Your plant will still look bad. It's, it's going to look ugly. So. That's the Paphiopetalum. This is my Pragmapedium. And there's a close up of how it looks. Basically, it looks like little stains on the top of the leaf. Under the leaf, it looks like that. Basically, it's washed out almost like watercolors, like some kind of pigmentation that fused onto the, the bottom of the leaf. Now look at this one. This one, you can still see it, but it's more uh, visible from the bottom. See right here? See this whole leaf has that staining. So, again, what I have done is I, st I started cutting the old leaves, the older leaves, to encourage new growth. And what I did, I repot repotted this, and the new growth do not have, well, they have a little bit, but clearly, just changing it from the media has uh, made the plant grow healthy leaves. So if you want to treat it, uh, the recommended uh, treatment for a bacterial infection is Phyton 27, which is copper base. So, but you won't, you won't get rid of the lesions because that's already damaged on the the leaves themselves so it's not good it's these lesions are not going to disappear even though you you fix the problem 
So you can treat it with Phy Phyton 27. It's a copper base bacterial side. And uh, uh, just don't confuse it with uh, Phyton 20 because Phyton 20 is a fungicide versus a bacterial side. So if you're dealing with a bacteria, you need a bacterial side, Phyton 27. So I hope you like my video. You uh, saw how to recognize the bacteria infection itself and what to look for and how to treat it. You can repot or you can use in fresh media or you can use uh, chemical or systemic uh, bactericide, uh, Phyton 27. So I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching.